Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Sam and I would love to have you guys subscribe so you won't miss out on any new videos. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top SAS favorites or my favorite SAS products that I think you guys need to get. Of course, these are all my opinions. Everyone likes different scents, everyone hates different scents, so I just thought this would be fun to show you guys my picks of SAS. To be honest, I was a little bit disappointed with some of the new releases. They just were not my favorite and they just didn't wow me as much as the other collections have, but I still wanted to share with you guys some scents that I have just been obsessing over. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. So the first collection I kind of want to talk about is this whole collection. I'm going to share with you guys all of them. So the first one is Beachfront Blanket. I know in the beginning in my haul that I posted, I said I wasn't too sure if I liked it or not, but I'm actually super obsessed with it. I tried it on my skin and it smells so gorgeous and beautiful. These scent notes are fresh white linen, summer sun, weight, sun rays, and soft musk. Now, a lot of people say this smells like dryer sheets and I totally agree. Like at first, I didn't smell that, but after I kept hearing it and I kept smelling it, I was like, wow, it really does. Now, I totally understand why some people might not like this scent because it does smell very, very strong. The lotion itself is super, super strong, so keep that in mind. You don't need to be spraying this all, all over your skin a million times. Like, a little bit of this truly goes a long way, so keep that in mind. If you do like the scent, but it gives you a little bit of headache, try just spraying a tiny bit of this, but I really like this scent. I do feel like it's going to go to 75% off which I will just go ahead and do a price adjustment and you guys can go ahead and do that too. But I do think it's worth picking up in the beginning just in case it does sell out where you are or online. So definitely give this a try if you like fresh, laundry, linen type of scents. You will really like this and it's a very strong fragrance. This is not one that's light at all. Next scent that I totally, totally recommend. This is probably my all-time favorite thing that I picked up from the entire SAS. And I've said this before, but if I could only pick one thing from the SAS, it would probably be this one. Out of the things that are out now. I mean, who knows? They might release some new stuff. This is Coastal Hydrangeas. This scent is so beautiful. It is so airy and so fresh and a little floral in there and mixed together it just smells so amazing. The fragrance notes are fresh hydrangeas, ocean mist, and golden apples. I think the apples smell beautiful in here but if you don't like a floral note whatsoever do not pick this up because you will probably not like it. However if you like aquatic, fresh, kind of like kind of like aqua kiss scent you might actually really enjoy this. The Lasting power of this is actually pretty decent as well. I wouldn't say it's as strong as the Boardwalk Beachfront Blanket, sorry. Beachfront Blanket, but it is really good. And I just, this is my everyday scent. If you want to feel clean, I don't know. I just really love this scent. I don't know why more people don't talk about it. So pick this one up again. And last one out of that entire collection is Boardwalk Taffy. I know that Cotton Candy Clads is also the same exact thing as this. I've heard they smell pretty much identical. Some people say it smells a little bit different, but a lot of people have told me that they're pretty much identical, which is why I didn't pick up Cotton Candy Clouds. I just like this packaging better. The scent notes are Spun Sugar, Pink Berries, and Whipped Vanilla. Boardwalk Taffy smells exactly like what it says. It's very, very sweet, like a taffy scent. Kind of reminds me of like Cotton Candy. And a lot of people actually told me that they didn't like this scent because it was too sweet for them and too sugary for them that it gave them a headache. Again, if you don't like sweet scents, you obviously will hate this. However, if you love that super sweet candy-like scent, cotton candy, you will love this. Like, I actually really, really like this scent. And I've been really expanding my scent preferences recently. Like, you guys, maybe if you guys have been watching me for a while, I used to hate sweet scents and, like, warm scents. But now I'm just obsessed with them, so... Pick this up if you are a very girly, feminine, sweet type of person. You're going to love this. Next thing I just want to mention is getting your perfumes during SAS. I think they are a really good deal because I feel like the perfumes don't really ever go on sale in my opinion besides SAS. So I got Saltwater Breeze. I don't know if they only do specific scents because they didn't have any other scents besides Saltwater Breeze and Perfect Peony. I think that's what it's called, right? 
but I chose saltwater breeze and this stuff lasts a really long time you guys I sprayed it on this morning I can still smell it on me and it's like 6 p.m. so that is insane to me because it is pretty inexpensive I got this for 50% off so this was about $19 if it does go down lower again I'm gonna stop saying this but I am gonna price adjust it because that's like five bucks I'm saving but the packaging is absolutely adorable I highly recommend for you guys to go ahead and pick up the perfumes right now if you love them like if you're just like meh about them you don't need to pick them up but if you love these scents definitely go ahead and just pick them up now because you might miss out on it and you might not be able to get that deal and you know then you're gonna have to wait which sucks so I picked mine up now and I'm really excited to have this I wish they would have put Midsummer Dream out on sale but that is okay maybe next year you know the next things that I really want to recommend to you guys are the Bake Shop Collection items. Those are 75% off right now and that is insane. If you love the Bake Shop Collection, totally, totally pick them up now because 75% off is so cheap. Now, I did go ahead and pick up another Raspberry Jam Donut because you guys know I love this scent and it was literally like $4 or $3 or $4 and you just can't do any better than that. Like that is so insane. So, pick this one up if you really like it also the other scents too i highly recommend that the next things i want to talk about are these shower gels that are 75 percent off i personally just feel like it's just such a good deal even if i'm not obsessed with the scents i feel like i still have to pick them up just because they're so inexpensive of course 75 percent off these were like three 317 no shower gels were actually like 270 or something like that I'm not sure it's something in the twos okay but I picked up a two shower gels that were 75% off I got this one in sugar cherry crisp which honestly I'm not like super obsessed with the scent at all but I felt like I could definitely just use it I don't know I'm definitely keeping this because it was two dollars and you can always just like you know, these shower gels, let me just say, don't linger on your skin for super long, okay? So once you just, like, use them, it's totally fine, and I don't mind the scent, so I picked it up. The other one that I picked up was this shower gel in Raspberry Jam Donut. You guys know I love this scent, so I had to pick up the whole collection. I really do recommend you guys picking up backups if your favorite items are on the 75% off table because you never know if they're not going to come back and you know you might have to spend like $20 on Mercari when you could just spend like $2 or $3 or $4 now so you know keep that in mind if you really love the scent I personally love the Bake Shop collection so I picked up a few extra the next things I do want to talk about are the body lotions I always say I recommend buying body lotions if you guys are collectors and you guys have like a huge collection of Bath and Body Works because creams are honestly really hard to go through and the body lotions are also hard to go through if you are using a different scent every day. So I always recommend buying body lotions because the creams do expire a lot quicker. So here I have these two which were 75% off so again $3 and like some change. I have coconut cream pie and I also have frosted coconut snowball this one is actually a Christmas scent so I'm pretty sure this is just like leftover that they didn't sell that they are just what do you call it bringing back out and I heard if you look at the serial number on the bottom if it starts with a one that means it was made in 2021 so this one is still a one and this one they covered it so I can't really see but that's what I've heard not sure if that's true frosted coconut snowball literally smells like a coconut snowballs you know the snowballs from hostess so this was again like three dollars and then this one was also three dollars the label is kind of like not centered correctly which kind of drives me nuts but I love coconut cream pie and I didn't have it in the body lotion so I just went ahead and picked it up you know now is the best time to pick up the lotions and anything else you want that are 75% off I always say Things that are 75% off, just swipe them. I mean, don't take them all, of course, but, you know, if you need a couple backups, just pick them up, you know, you, you never know. So I do just really quickly want to mention the 495 Body Mist. This is Love and Sunshine. Yeah, Love and Sunshine. I don't know if this is a retired mist or what it is, but it smells really good. I was on the fence about returning or exchanging this one. 
I still am not sure because I just don't know how much I will use it. I have so many mists, you guys, and I'm really just trying to get, you know, my money's worth and I'm not trying to have a super cluttered hygiene and body care collection. So yeah, this one is really good though. This is, I think, the only one that I picked up from the $4.95 little table and I can't I can't remember you guys but this one does smell really good so if you like these scents highly recommend them so the next thing I want to talk about are the retired fragrances now this is like my first time going to the SAS in the very beginning because last or in the winter time I went really late I did not know that they came out with the retired fragrances out I smell dark kiss you guys because you guys know I bought that from Amazon and I really hated it so my friends kind of were like maybe you know you got an expired one or maybe you know it's just not right I don't know it's a fake one I smelled it in store it smells exactly like the mist I have and I hate it so I didn't get dark kiss if you love that scent good for you but like it's personally just too too mature for me I feel like I'm not that on that level yet you know but don't take any offense to it it's everyone's scent preferences are different but one of the retired fragrances that I ended up picking up was cucumber melon you guys know my love for like fresh fragrances and I love cucumber scents so I had to get this you guys it smells so good I know a lot of people hate this fragrance but I love it and I know it sounds so weird to be like why would you want to smell like cucumbers but it smells so good. I have the Victoria's Secret Natural Beauty line, and that cucumber scent honestly is very strong of cucumber. This one is a little bit less, you know, strong, so I really recommend this. I believe these are 50% off, and I really love them, honestly. Let me go ahead and check my receipt for you really quickly so I make sure I don't mess this up. Okay, so I just checked my receipt, and cucumber melon was part of the $4.95 sale, which I think is a pretty good deal. So pick these up that's pretty good of a deal if you want more retired fragrances they had pink chiffon they had cherry blossom they had dark kiss they had what other ones did they have i cannot even remember but they had a good amount of retired fragrances and that's cheaper than if they were to have their 550 sale i mean i know it's only like 55 cents but i still think it adds up in the end so pick these up and another thing I just want to mention is yes, I did say I was going to buy the hand soaps and hand sanitizers at the very end. I did go ahead and pick up two of them. I showed them in my haul. However, I am going to pick up more once it's like down to 75% off. I just really like the packaging of the ones that I bought. So I just picked up two and that is good for me. I also needed more hand soap in my bathroom. But those are all of the products I really wanted to share with you guys. Oh, another thing is those 11 or no. 75% off candles. It was like $6. They're kind of like older scents. They're like Christmassy scents and Easter scents. But if you don't mind that, I mean, pick them up and stock up for this fall or this winter because it was $6 when they're normally $24. So yeah. All right, you guys. So that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing like all the products that I personally recommend for this SAS and that I think are my SAS favorites. I definitely think I'm going to go ahead and do a SAS um, fragrances that I don't like because there are actually a good amount of scents that I don't like so yeah but thank you guys so so much for watching today's video if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next one bye